wonderful again to be able to continue in the theme that we've been trying to come and answer a few questions. And I can't help but think as I go out on the street a good number of days every month. What a fascinating land we live in, Britain. Probably the most wonderful nation on earth and the nation to live in. Things that happen in this country just couldn't happen anywhere else with very few other nations. I can't imagine in many of the countries I've been to if they would allow these people here. They would have been shot, put in the back of a wagon and disappeared out of society a long, long time. We live in a country which, for all of its Christian understanding, and that's where this country comes from, you can be sure of it, that's why we are the nation we are, and that's why we have the democracy we have, which has been based on a biblical understanding. Way back in those days, the Reformation of 1400, where the parliamentary ideas of this country spread throughout the world, and for all its good and all its bad, it brought a great deal of wonder to the world. Today, you can imagine, and you're fascinated, aren't you? You're all fascinated to read those um, comments that are made up on there, mainly by young people. They really don't know. And let's face it, most of us don't know. And most of us spend our lives that don't know. In fact, most of us spend our lives just wandering through life until it comes to that last month when we're told that this is the last month. See, some of you may never see another Christmas. You may have seen your last Christmas already. You don't know it. But it may be that you won't see this coming Christmas. Last one was the last one. If actually last Christmas presents, it's never likely to be anymore. Very real, you know. I know we all tuck it under the cover. It's very real. And I'll tell you what, if this is going to be your last Christmas, I think there'll be a few people who'll be very sad in your family. In fact, there'll be a lot of tears going to be shed. And of course, what will happen? Well, Christmas will come, you will go to the grave before, and it'll go on, won't it? It'll just go on. And then these people here, well, they'll be gone. A hundred years ago, that probably was ladies wanting to vote. And before that, there was other things going on. There's wars, there's famine, financial meltdown. Well, that's happened before. So what's the news? I mean, it's after all, it just carries on. These young people become old people. And when they're 50 or 60, 70, they look down at the young of that age and they'll say, well, look, they're young. They don't know what they're talking about. They've only just come out of the womb. They haven't seen anything. And you'll say, well, I've seen it all. I've been there, done it, got the T-shirt. <laughs> but it carries on, doesn't it? The cycle of life and living and death. The cycle of life and living and death. And we all know we certainly came from the womb. And we're all going to go to something. The evolutionist that we've got here, it's, it's the latest faith in the world. It's its latest religion, evolution, that's been building up for the last hundred years, preaching a, a, an ever message which deceives and tries to get people to grasp something which is obviously not right. But we get sucked into... People here get sucked into something. We don't know what they're doing. But they just get sucked into something, hoping that they'll come up with a few answers and life will be better. Who for? Them. Because they're not really worried about you and I. They're worried about themselves. The same as other people in history weren't worried. Do you know, Hitler was not worried about all the Germans he was going to kill. He wasn't worried about it. Hitler was worried about himself. 